we knew that, you know, Nashville is going to be tough. There's a lot of good competition, but uh, we wanted to, you know, show, represent Whitewater well, represent our conference as well. We didn't get off to the start we wanted. So the first day, of course, we, we needed to improve. 350, yeah, it's not the best score in the world. We had an off day. Everyone did. Um, but we each individually talked about what we could work on and how we're going to do it and not we don't want to we didn't want to give up and even from the whole season I guess you could take we have always been a second or third round type team you know kind of take a day you know we wish we could come out a little stronger in the first day but we do always somehow make it back so we knew even after that first day having a little bit of trouble that it wasn't going to be anything that would stop us we weren't um, down really at all um, we knew that you know there was plenty of opportunity plenty of time left to um, put some good scores up there and then you know make the cut we did the same thing at the conference tournament the second day we weren't in first place but um, it's kind of like that's how we are as a team we like to you know uh, work our way up and the last day is usually our day and so that's what happened on Thursday um, so we weren't I don't think we were afraid um, we weren't fearful or anything like that. We just continued and knew that we could do it. Just play good, play for your team, play for that cut because we want to play Friday. The 320 that we shot was um, was very, you know, was very good, and it was better than a lot. Of, I think it, I don't remember for sure. I can't remember, but it was one of the top five scores of the whole tournament, you know, for that day. So we showed ourselves that we could be a top five team. Um, you just have to be able to do that more often, not just one day. So, um, but yeah, I just think that it shows that they, um, that they, you know, were not ready to give up. The fact that our scores went lower and other teams went higher was kind of interesting. I don't really know <laughs> where that came from, but um, I know from obviously we can control how we play, so we knew that we do have potential to shoot, you know, 320. And getting to that point, we just had to kind of all put it together. So it was kind of a relief, but at the same time, we knew, you know, there's still another day and there's still more work to do. We want we want to climb further up that leaderboard, so uh, it, it was definitely a confidence booster, and we all. I uh, just wanted to enjoy the last day, but also kind of put our best golf out there for the last round of the season. We f keep fighting no matter what. We are always fighting away just to keep getting better, at least, you know, we don't. We didn't want to settle for 15th place. Andrea and Jeff really grounded us, you know. Um, we were all excited, but, you know, they kept saying, hey, you know, we, we did what we needed to do, and now we got to keep doing what we're doing, you know. It's just we need to keep climbing, and we need to keep showing everyone why we're here and why we deserve to be here. They do want to get better. They do listen to what we talk about, and, and they did, you know, have to work on their mental toughness skills because you can get off to a bad start at that golf course or have a really horrible hole because it'll bite you real fast um, and um, they I think that just shows that we you know we really did um, have some mental toughness training that worked.